Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to continue on with our introduction to Blender series and specifically we're going to look at uh, using edit mode uh, with help for doing your isometric bedroom assignment. So let's get started. Okay, first of all I'm going to create a new cube. I'm going to press Shift A and we're going to add a new mesh and we're going to make a new cube. Okay, so let's kind of talk about how edit mode works. Uh, so we've currently only been working in object mode but up here along the top of the screen, uh, you'll have a drop down here that says edit mode, okay? You can also press the tab key to switch back and forth between object mode and edit mode. So when you're in edit mode, you can manipulate one of three aspects of your meshes. And we can switch between the three points up here at the top. Uh, we got vertex selection mode, edge selection mode, and face selection mode. And you can also press one, two, or three on your uh, number row at the top to switch between those three. And if I go to vertex selection mode, click on one of these vertex or the vertices, and I can hit G for grab and I can grab and move it around and lock it to the Z axis or the X axis or the Y axis, just like we did everything before. Uh, if we go to uh, 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 edge selection mode, I can grab an edge here, I can hit G for grab, and I can grab it on the Z, X or the Y axis. Um, just like anything else. And then finally we have face select mode. I can grab a face, I can hit G and I can move it around. Uh, but you know, we can also use S for scale and we can scale it up. Um, you know, if you want to create slightly different shapes, you can rotate it as well on the three different axes and you can make uh, a variety of different shapes with those basic manipulation tools. But let's talk about some of the more advanced tools that we can play around with in uh, edit mode. Uh, the first of the tools is really straightforward. It is the extrude tools. So if I select this top face here, I hit E for extrude. It's going to create a new uh, a series of geometry here, but you'll notice that it kept the original edge line right here. So I hit E for extrude, E for extrude, E for extrude, and so forth. So that's the extrude key. Uh, let's talk about another command. And the next command we'll talk about is the inset faces. So we select a face here, press I for inset, and then it creates a new face smaller than the original. And then you can extrude that out, you can inset that, extrude that out, and so forth. Okay, that's the inset tool. The next tool we're gonna to talk about is subdivide. In order to subdivide, you click on a face, right click, and then you can go to subdivide, and then you could subdivide again, or select just that face and subdivide that one, you know, and subdivide that one. Just be aware if you subdivide too much, you can crash the computer, and there will be certain circumstances where subdivide just doesn't work. So that's the subdivide command. Uh, the next tool we'll talk about is the bevel command. Uh, bevel is control B, uh, and then we can bevel our shape just like that. And what's interesting, while you're in the bevel command, if you roll the mouse wheel up, it'll create more geometry, getting you a smoother bevel. Excellent. Uh, but you can also bevel a uh, singular edge. So if I press two and I can select this edge up here, I press control B and I can bevel out that edge. Once again, increasing the amount of bevel if I would like. Excellent. And the last command I want to talk about today is the loop cut and slide command. Uh, and that is shift R or control R, sorry, it's control R. And you see when I press control R, I get this line uh, through the center of my cube and either I can have it running vertically or horizontally, depending on which face I have my mouse cursor over. And if I click the mouse once, then I get the option of sliding this line along our cube and I can click a second time to confirm that. And all that's done is now it's created new geometry throughout our shape. There's a little bit more we can do with the loop cut and slide. If I press Control R again, and then roll the mouse wheel, it'll create more edges. Click, click to place. And then you could Control R again, create more geometry there, click, click to place. And now we've created a, uh, a cube that has a series of individual faces that you could then edit as you see fit. Excellent. Well, let's use these new tools we just learned to create some very basic furniture um, that you might want to put in your isometric room that you're designing. So let's go back and let's shift A and let's create a uh, just a very simple like a, a table right now, a little end table you might have in your room. So we're going to create a cube and I'm going to scale it down on the Z here. Excellent. I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing tab. I'm going to go to the underside of this cube and I'm going to right click subdivide, subdivide. And let's just grab these four faces and extrude them down. It's not great, but it works thickness on the table and we have a very basic table now okay so let's keep this going and make a new shape here so I'm gonna press shift a and I'm gonna add a cylinder 
And uh, with this cylinder here, I'm gonna go to edit mode, select this top face, and I'm gonna scale that in. Excellent, now I'm gonna to flip to this underside, I'm gonna select that face, hit I for inset, and let's inset that face in. Let's hit E for extrude to bring that down. Let's extrude it a little bit more. And let's scale that, extrude again. And now we've created just a basic lamp for our room. And if we wanted to, we could select this top face, inset it just a little bit and extrude that down to create the uh, inside part of the lamp. Excellent, so let's grab that on the Z. Let's grab it on the Y. Let's scale it down, it's a bit too big. Grab it on the Z. Grab it on the Y, perfect. Okay, the next thing every bedroom needs is a toaster, of course. Uh, so let's make a very basic toaster here. So I'm gonna start once again by making a cube, uh, scale it down and then scale it a little bit on the Y. And let's go into edit mode. And I'm gonna go to edge selection mode and I'm gonna select this edge here on the side and I'm gonna press shift to select the other edge, press control B to bevel. And let's bevel out that basic, basic toaster shape. Okay, let's uh, do the toast slots now. So I'm gonna press Control R for loop cut, and I'm gonna add a bunch of loop cuts. One, two, three. I'm just counting here to make sure I, how many uh, correct loop cuts I wanna make. We'll make one more there. Perfect, I'm gonna click to place. And then I'm gonna loop cut this way as well. Excellent, and we'll place that loop cut. Okay, I'm gonna go to face selection mode and I'm gonna select the spots where our toast will be inserted in the toast slots as it were. Selected all the toast slots and I'm gonna press E to extrude those down. All right, starting to look a little bit more like a toaster now. Um, but uh, what we wanna do next is we're gonna to wanna to add the, uh, the channels where the, uh, the controllers for the toast will go. So let's click to place there and then let's Go to face selection mode and let's grab these channels here. Okay, looking good. And let's extrude that in. And then let's extrude this actual out. So this one here, these are the buttons you will use to put the toast and maybe the bottom one has been pushed down. Excellent, so now we have a simple little toaster. Uh, that every room needs. Let's scale that down. Let's grab it on the Y. Let's grab it on the Z. Let's grab it on the Z. Put it up on our table here. And let's just rotate it a little bit, slightly askew. Perfect. So, great. We've made some nice little furniture for your bedroom now using the edit mode. Hope you found that helpful, and we will see you all later.